All right, my budding pathologists. Um, so, we're going to talk today about parasites, okay, in particular macroparasites. So, these are parasites that can be seen with the naked eye. And these are the really creepy ones that we were talking about in class. Now, we're basically going to start with two types. Both are a type of flatworm. So, we've got the flukes, which are the type of flatworms called nematodes. And here we see they literally look like this. And they're, they're the smaller ones. And that's what they look like front on. They are literally a flatworm. Um, and they've usually got eye spots on the top. Now, these are the most common co uh, disease causing macroparasites. Um, they're not the ones we always think of. We usually will think of tapeworms, which we'll talk about in a moment in a second. Um, they tend to they tend to cause damage to blood vessels, though, and this is the one which can result in serious diseases, such as loss of organs or organ failure, uh, because the organ is not getting enough blood and therefore enough oxygen, etc., to itself. Um, this can include. So then we move on a little bit to tapeworms. Um, another type of flatworm, but they're very large. Um, so the cysts, they, they, they form a cyst and this um, develops as the egg moves through the system. Um, if the cyst forms in the liver, this is where it can be fatal. Um, so once hatched, the tapeworm will tend to live in the intestines and it, the first symptom is usually uh, dramatic loss of weight. Uh, one so we'll talk about a couple of diseases. Uh, first one is elephantiasis or elephantitis, and that is because the, the fluid is unable to leave the body or the body the organ. It's just a massive swelling of the organ. And the other one is, as we were referring to earlier, is the hydated diseases. Um, if you want a bit more information, you should look those up. Now. I want you, when you're finished here, is to produce a, a version of the blood fluke life cycle like you have on page 140 of your textbooks. Alright, and that's where we're at for today. Cool, we'll see you tomorrow morning.